Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am and once again I'm coming at you with another exciting video. Okay, got a question for y'all. What happens when you combine Robin Hood, a plain old dagger, and animated visuals? You get, uh, uh, hmm. Not exactly what I had in mind. Eh, just forget that, just forget that. Uh, let, well, let's try another one. Let's see. Um, uh, okay, what can I think of? Uh, okay, what happens when you combine going down into the hood, yo, with, uh, hmm. Oh, with going down into the hood, yo. Uh, uh, okay, no, 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 no. We are not desperate enough to actually make 2006 meme jokes here in this channel. Well, not yet anyway. Maybe we better just skip the metaphors, I've never been that good with them. And for the two of you left actually watching this video still, we have a new surprise PlayStation Vita game that got announced on the fly this week for our favorite little handheld of choice. Everyone, I introduce to you Dagger Hood. Now you see how my metaphors were kind of falling flat on me. And I'll get there eventually, I'll get there eventually. Either that or I'll just, you know, won't. While it looks like Redaleka Games is at it again, guys, they have just graced us with a cool new retro platformer for our PlayStation Vita. Hmm, in fact, come to think of it, maybe I should have just skipped that whole introduction and just say it kind of reminds me more of the gameplay that you'd find on Celeste. Yeah, I think that would have saved a lot more time. Redaleka Games, yeah, I keep noticing that I pronounce that company's name differently every time I say it. Hmm, that can't be a good thing. Anywho, Redaleka Games and Wobblyware have announced that the retro platformer Dagger Hood will launch on the PlayStation Vita and will be featuring cross buy. Ooh, I love those words. Well, okay, not as much as I love the word fried chicken, but I guess beggars can't be choosers at this point, right? About Daggerhood, every man should have a skill, and for Vincent S. Daggerhood, that skill was thieving. Quick with his hands, there was no loot he couldn't plunder and no treasure chest he couldn't escape with. For Daggerhood, life was good, until come that faithful day when he was finally caught in the name of justice. Hmm, there's a Slayer joke in there somewhere. Anybody seen that anime, or am I just embarrassing myself again? Yeah, that's what I thought. To pay for his crimes, he was cast into the Forsaken Caverns. But this is not the end of Daggerhood's story, for this is only the beginning. Oh, you're probably wondering why I got quiet all of a sudden. Well, I'm doing that for dramatic effect. Filled with the desire for freedom and craving for retribution, don't we all want that? Eh, maybe we all don't want that. Daggerhood has set his sights on stealing the king's gold and armed with a dagger he can only throw and reclaim by teleporting to his current position. I'm not 100% sure I read that right, but it sounded cool. Across 100 levels, he's going to need your help. Will you answer his call? Key features in this game, five worlds and a hundred levels, five unique bosses, in-level challenges that require the player to collect treasure and fairies. Uh, no, no, not that fairy. We're done with the metaphors for now. New game mechanics introduced with each new world. Quick fire platformer action. Hmm, methinks this is a keeper. This game really has my attention, if only for the main fact that it reminds me so much of Celeste. Not to mention a hundred levels? That's quite a lot. I think that's more than 50. Wait. Yeah, it's more than 50. Oh man, anticipation rising, anticipation rising. It just amazes me all the support that we're getting for the Vita this late into its lifespan in 2019. I know I keep saying it over and over guys, but it still just amazes me. I can't stress it enough. Uh, wait, what's that? Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Now the biggest thing on our mind is when can we get this little gem of a game? Well guys, at the time I'm making this video, the game will launch on February 19th in North America and on February 20th, 2019 in Europe and in Asia, February 22nd. Or at least that's what I originally read, because that info has since seemed to have been deleted from all my sources. So either it's already out in Asia now, or it's been delayed, probably the latter. So you guys over in that region might want to check the PlayStation Store. There's something fishy going on here. And it gets even better guys, I have one more little tidbit of information that might just tantalize your taste buds. Yeah, I told you I wasn't good with metaphors. The game will feature cross-buy, four different trophy stacks, and best of all, it's available for only $4.99 USD and Euros or Pounds or whatever that little symbol with the C and the dashes means. I know, I know, I, you guys drill it into my head what it means and I always keep forgetting. Which is odd because when I looked at it on my Vita, it said $3.99, but according to the list price, it says $4.99, so maybe it's on sale possibly for the first week? Heck, I know I ain't complaining. Alright my Vita bros and sisses, I guess that'll pretty much cover today's news. 
I'd love to hear your comments on this. What do you think about this game? It's really affordable, so I'd say why not? But I'd love to hear your opinions in the comment section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by Adam Theory, Saul Ramirez, Heston Joseph, and all these wonderfully generous people over at Patreon. I have a number of exclusive perks available for backers, so if you're interested in supporting the channel, come on over and join us. We'd love to have you over there. So come on. Come on. Join us.